Ever since the NFL signed that deal with only Reebok, our sales have been down major. I don't think what the NFL did by making that deal is even legal. Antitrust laws ensure competition by outlawing corporations to make exclusive deals with companies so that consumers aren't hurt by higher prices and so that there is competition. Unless the NFL is considered a single entity, which I really doubt they are. There's no way the NFL is one group. It is made up of several teams all co competing against each other. I really think we should take this to court to save consumers and our family businesses. Not a bad idea. What court should you take it to? I guess we could start at the district court where somewhere near the Chicago area. I'll go there tomorrow and talk about the issue and get a possible court date. I can't believe the district court sided with the NFL. How could they ever think that the NFL is a single entity so that they don't have to follow the antitrust laws? There's nothing all right about that. I'm going to appeal that ruling. I agree with you, boss. Go to the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals tomorrow to set a date. Good idea. I will. I am so mad beyond words. I am in such disbelief that even the Court of Appeals agreed with the NFL. I just don't see how any good court could possibly think that the NFL is a single entity. This has to go to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court will make the proper ruling. Those judges will see that what the NFL is doing is hurting consumers and definitely not good for America. I'm on your side, boss. All rise. The United States Supreme Court is now in session. The Honorable Justice Roberts presiding. Please be seated. This is the case of American Needle versus the National Football League, which involves the charge that the defendant violated the Sherman Ant Antitrust Act. Court is now in session. <coughs> Mrs. Richardson, please proceed with your remarks. Thank you, Your Honor. American Needle will provide beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant, the NFL, violated the Sherman Antitrust Act, and by doing so, cannot be considered a single entity and should not be allowed to make exclusive marketing deals. The National Football League has was just trying to sneak around the Sherman Act, which ensures competition by allowing a free market and open economy. By making an exclusive deal with Reebok, the NFL hurt consumers by causing prices to rise as much as 50%. The NFL also tried to pass off as a single group so that they would not have to follow the antitrust laws, but antitrust laws apply to anyone that deals with interstate commerce, and the NFL does because it shifts products to and from state. Also, the NFL is made up of several different teams with their own products, proving that it is not just one group. It is a league made up of several different separate groups and therefore should, should have to follow all antitrust acts. Based off of all the information and evidence, it clearly proves that the National Football League is guilty of breaking the Sherman Act Antitrust Act because it prohibits competition. Thank you. Thank you. The court will now hear the defense's statement. Your Honor, the, de the defense tends to tell you the facts of the matter. First of all, two lower courts have accurately agreed that the National Football League is indeed a single entity and therefore can make any type of deal that they desire. The NFL is one individual group because each team has to work together to be successful. The league cannot function without each member of every team. Every team, a part of the Football League, has only one product, being football games, which also proves that the league is a single entity. Finally, all the deals that the Sherman Act includes does not fit the means of the deal that the NFL made with Reebok, making the deal lawful. Based off of those facts, the National Football League should not be found guilty of breaking any antitrust act. Thank you. Now us nine justices will discuss this case. We will get back to you on the verdict as soon as we come to the decision. Good afternoon, Justices. Following the American Needle versus the NFL case, what are your opinions on the matter? Personally, I lean more towards agreeing with the American Needle. I agree. From my point of view, each team in the league is a separate profit-making enterprise competing against each other to sell the most products with their team's logo on it. I agree. Especially because other sports leagues, such as the International Boxing Club in 1955, fall under the category of having to follow antitrust laws because each club dealt with interstate commerce. I also think that the National Football League deals with interstate commerce in the same way that the boxing club did in 55. Also, the point of antitrust laws is to protect the consumers. As American Needle lawyer pointed out, prices have raised by 50% ever since there has been no competing com companies producing any NFL merchandise. I definitely do not think that 
what the NFL is doing is in the best interest for the consumers. I do not see how they can be a single entity, therefore they would have to follow antitrust laws, which ban exclusive marketing details. deals. I find the NFL guilty. Anyone disagree? I agree with you, as it seems we all do. For future reference, I think it is necessary for every decision the NFL might make should go to a lower court to ensure that the decision is promoting competition by being analyzed under the rule of reason. That would stop the NFL from making any other kind of deal that would harm consumers. It looks like we have came to a 9-0 to zero decision. Good work, Justices. I'll make sure the paperwork is sent out and both businesses are informed of the decision. Boss, the Supreme Court sent you a letter. Open it and see what they said. Without it, our company might have been completely gone out of business. Thank goodness. All we've been through in the past years have been worth it. Now we can get back to selling what we are known for, NFL hats. But I have to ask, what did judicial review have to do with any of this? Judicial review is the Supreme Court interprets law. If the justices would have inter interpreted the NFL as being a single entity, we would have lost the case. But since the Supreme Court knows what they are doing and all the exact laws, they interpreted that the NFL was indeed not a single entity so that they would have to follow the antitrust laws. Just like we knew all along. It feels so good to finally get what we deserve. Let's go celebrate!